Hey everybody, James Jaguar Tactical Response, and today I want to talk about uh, downed operator stuff, downed operator drills, and, and a new piece of gear. Um, um, having to move uh, a, a full-grown operator with his kit on could be uh, could be quite challenging. Like for instance, like right now I'm right around uh, uh, 200 pounds, and uh, now we're about 45 to 55 pounds of gear. So I'm talking about moving somebody that's 250 pounds, and uh, and that's a considerable amount of weight to carry, uh, plus the weight you're already carrying, considering that you're probably already carrying 40 or 50 pounds of extra gear yourself. Um, and so let's talk about some ways to do that. And uh, I want to talk about a product that I helped develop uh, with uh, special operations equipment. Um, and this is a this is a drag litter. Now it's no it's nothing special. You can find other drag litters. This one's just very heavy duty and. Uh, and of course, this particular one's in multicam, so it's kind of cool. But uh, we're going to talk about how to use it, and you know how, how to move people effectively uh, using this litter. So here's the litter, and uh, just so you can see uh, how, how big it is, it's touching the floor, and it's above me, so it's uh, certainly over over six feet long, and uh, has this belt in the middle. And I'll, I'll do some close-ups of this stuff so you can see it. But this is this is what it looks like. Okay, so here's the litter laid out uh, with the, the right side up, and you see it's got this uh, scuba webbing <coughs> buckle system with a with a <coughs> excuse me <coughs> uh, with a cobra buckle on it, and uh, this is a this is a good piece of kit, very strong uh, that will not break, and uh, this is a third generation of this uh, of this, and we've we've perfected it. This is a really tough, strong litter that will last a long, long time over for a long journey if you were like in a jungle environment or something like that. But this webbing on these handles is sewn all the way across and then this is sewn to that webbing so it's like triple thickness through there. You can see at the, at the end uh, there are these handles that are sewn on very, very well. And these are the ones that actually get pulled the most and they're not really connected to anything and you'd think they just tear right off but because of the webbing because of the toughness of the cordura they really hold up dragging you know three three hundred fifty pounds there are three handles along the side and again all these uh, go across the, the, the entire way and then um, then of course two handles at the other end so this can be con configured to carry uh, one person in any number of ways and uh, what we find the easiest is to just to put somebody on it and just use these two drag handles either one or two people dragging by these drag handles it seems like the more people you get on it the, the worse it is um, but there it just the way it's set up it is certainly can be used for a variety of drags this is mr galkanokas he is a 185 pound drag dummy and you probably remember him uh from my martial fitness video this is a guy i'm dragging around he is solid 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 man mr galkanokas um, so we want to orient the uh, the litter so that the belt is going to be around his waist uh, or chest, right? And how you put somebody onto a litter is imagine folding this thing in half, rolling the person up, pushing the litter underneath. <clears throat> and then either pulling the litter out or rolling them the other direction. Yes, it's kind of awkward for one person, but completely doable. So, after we get them on the litter, straighten them up there a little bit, we need to uh, get the belt on him. Now this is an important part that uh, sometimes the students in the contractor classes uh, screw up getting him on here <coughs> correctly. If he doesn't stay on the litter, <laughs> we can't drag him very well. So we we lock him in and then we tighten this belt up all the way so we got nice and snug around him. <coughs> then <coughs> for a one person carry, I can just go up here to the head and grab the two drag handles and start pulling. I know this is on a tile floor, but we do this on gravel, sand, dirt. We've done it all kinds, of, all kinds of environments. And yes, it's easier on a slick tile floor, but just to show you how easy it is to move 185 pound drag down.
Perfect. Time. We're up 13. We one, three. One, one, three. Three. one three. Hey, I'm going to get on the offset. Top him off. He's He's top him off. So that's it for me and Mr. Galakonokas. Uh, that is the, the new SOE litter. Again, I don't even know what the name of it's going to be. But this is it. This is the one in, in multicam. Nice cobra belt to hold Mr. Galakonokas on here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm out of breath from, from dragging his ass around. <laughs> If you have any questions, go to getoffthex.com. You can read more about this video there or any of the rest of our videos. We uh, welcome you to come and discuss these topics. If you want to discuss one on how to, the easiest way to drag somebody, I'd be glad to hear it because apparently I'm not doing it right. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, please share. Check us out on Facebook and check SOE out on Facebook too. Uh, that's where they put their sales and stuff like that up. So uh, check them out and we'll see you guys next time.